Most of my life I've lived in cities and I actually like living in condos and buildings surrounded by other people, but I also like to get away from all of that. I'm Sophia Dannenberg and I live in Seattle, Washington and I'm a mountain climber. I have a really busy full-time job in a big city and I can't always get out to the mountains to train and so I like just going out to move around the city. I'll put weight on my back, I'll do all kinds of things just to be able to move my body and to stay in shape so that I can keep climbing. In 2006, I summited Mount Everest, and before that, I'd say I was just an average climber seeking out moderate routes and mountains to climb around the world. But with that summit, I became the first African-American and the first black woman to summit Mount Everest. I didn't have any sponsorship. I didn't have any media. And I felt like it was perfect because I could just fail in anonymity. I spent the whole time thinking, you can quit at any moment. If this doesn't feel good, if it doesn't feel right, just go back. And in a lot of ways, I think that's what gave me the confidence to move forward, knowing at every point that I had made a really conscious, intentional decision, and not that I was there because I felt some kind of pressure from the outside. When I started climbing, there was so much of a desire to be just one of the guys. But after Everest, it was really obvious that I couldn't, that I was going to stand out. And eventually, I saw that it was important to own it for other people who don't blend in and for them to own the way that they're different and not just try to be like everybody else. I've got this big first and I can't give it back, so I should do something with it.